family, peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Man's Mark the Messenger, a well requested video. Y'all saw my video I did a couple days ago talking about signs that a woman is sent from the devil. And there were some people in the comment section who were saying that, oh, it's the same thing for men, which is not, I mean, maybe a couple signs where it could be the same, like how they could try to kill you in your dreams, something like that. But this one is gonna be very eye opening too, especially for your brothers, because we all have had a Judas in our life, a Judas being a devil. We have all dealt with that whether it's through a family member or friend or relationship. So this video is gonna be very edifying. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Number one sign, someone, a man was sent from the devil, man. They got an unhealthy obsession, and this is also very key too, for not just for women, but for men too. They try to force a friendship on you. They're like overly controlling. Uh, force a relationship or force a marriage on you, okay? Friendship, relationship, especially marriage, should be organic. It should just be naturally fl flowing, nothing forced. The reason why they're forcing it upon you is because they were sent by somebody. I've been talking about that in my videos about Satan's kingdom and how agents be sent your way. This is real, man. So the reason why they're trying to force it upon you, get you in a rush, is because they were sent by somebody. You ever overcome a sin? You overcome a stronghold, an addiction, or maybe you just start to feel more happy, more joyful. Remember, this devil, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he doesn't want you to be happy. He doesn't want you to overcome a sin. He doesn't want you to get right with the Most High. He doesn't want that. So he's going to send somebody, an agent in the, uh, the Satan's kingdom to come your way to destroy you, steal, kill, and destroy. So you got to understand that when someone's trying to force a relationship or friendship, you ever have someone like who's always DMing you, always messaging you? And like you just, and it, because you're busy, you don't have time to go back and forth. And they make you feel like you're crazy. Why don't you hit me up? Like, they're trying to like force it upon you, forcing a friendship. They're always hitting you up. They always want to know how your day went, bro. And now there's nothing wrong with someone asking, use discretion to what I'm saying, asking how your day went. But when it's like, you feel like someone should have force upon you, there's a lot of times these people were sent by the devil. And you know, friendships too, it's not just also, and this also too applies for men too as well, okay? So the unhealthy obsession, bro, that's weird. It's just weird energy, man. And these devils, they come with weird, weird, weird spirit, weird spirits, demonic spirits, man. And they just try to like, and they make you feel like when you're, when you're in your, uh, minding your business, you're in your peace, they're, they're just making you feel like, like they get triggered by you being at peace. Like it's, it's a demonic spirit working through them. Okay. So you got to take heed to that. The unhealthy obsession. And when they're trying to force a friendship, relationship, and marriage into you. Number two, now this is for the woman, all right, is lures you in by materialism, okay? Remember, say, if Satan wants your soul, if Satan wants you to go on his side, he's going to give you things. He's going to offer you things. Even Satan try to offer Christ, you know, I'll, if you come to me and bow down and worship me, I'll give you everything. So a woman, remember, a woman's more easily tempted than Adam because the Bible says that um, Adam wasn't deceived, but the woman was deceived. Talks about that in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11 to 15, okay? So one thing about you sisters, you got to understand that the devil's going to try to lure you in with, you know, carnal objects, carnal things like materialism and, and you know, things that's pretty much just vanity, okay? So you have to use your discretion to understand. Now, there's nothing wrong with a man buying any things and stuff like that. So that's why you got to have discernment, okay? But one thing about an evil man, someone sent by the devil who wants your soul, who wants who wants to, you like who wants your possession, right? Because the Bible does say we us chosen ones are a prized possession. So when the devil wants you, he's gonna give you everything you want, material. And you, you're gonna think that this is just too good to be true. And when something is too good to be true, it most likely nine times out of ten it is too good to be true. So always take heed to that. Number three, this is very key. You woman gotta take notes, man. Okay. So number three, the number three sign is he has no desire to get married or to have babies. It's a warmonger. And unfortunately, the woman of the world today, she attracts these type of men. And the Bible says that a wicked woman is given over to a wicked man. So if you're always attracting these type of men, that must mean there's something that's in you that's attracting them, the same spirit that's attracting that type of person, okay? Now, if you just attract it one time, that's different. But you seem to always attract men who just want to pump and dump you and never want to actually take you serious and, you know, build with you and start a family. It's because... Remember, the Bible says a wicked woman is given over to a wicked man. That's why it's very important to have accountability. And when I attracted these devils and these agents my way, I never blame them or point the finger at them. No, I blame myself because they didn't put a gun to my head and say, you have to get with me. You have to date me. You have to be a friend. No, I made the conscious decision to be friends with them and I reap what I sowed, you know, because God always shows us, guys. He always shows us, especially if you call yourself a chosen one, he shows you who people are, okay? He, he shows you. And when you, when, you, when you disobey him, when you're disobedient to his, to his, you know, his commandments and the Holy Spirit warning you, you're going to reap what you sow. And it's very key to take accountability, okay? Accountability, accountability. Stop blaming other people and blame yourself, okay? So 
when a man has no desires to wife you up, okay? He just wants to just pump and dump you and, you know, uh, he's dealing with other women and he's lying and being deceitful about it and he's telling you he's monogamous. You know, as the Bible calls it a warmonger and warmongers will not inherit the kingdom of God. So you around here align your spirit with the warmonger, okay? You're gonna go down there with him, okay? So always keep that in mind, all right? Number four, the number four sign is... After you sleep with them, okay, ooh, this is deep. Oh, man, y'all better take heed, man. Ooh, after you sleep with them, you will notice feelings of demonic energy and you start to feel yourself drift away from God. You start to find yourself more into sin, okay? And remember, the Bible says that the woman is a weaker vessel. What does that mean? It means that, okay, so uh, the, the woman came out of Adam's rib, okay? So that means woman compared to a man is more weaker. So she's more prone to be more prone to being deceived, more prone to being, you know, fall into the snares of the devil, okay? This is why it's important to have a, a woman to have a head in her life. Now, she doesn't have a husband, you gotta have a Christ in your life, okay? And you gotta also understand that when you, when you're out here having, you know, you're out here fornicating with a whole bunch of dudes, right? You're now going to carry on those, those spirits. It's called soul ties, okay? And you out here, have, you don't know, you know, you ever been with, a, some of you sisters can relate. Now, I'm, I'm not a woman, so I, I can't relate to this, but some of you all know, you've been, you slept with a certain man, and then you start to feel like the demonic presence within you. It's because his spirit is now in your spirit, okay? This is real. That's what the Bible says to flee fornication, and it, uh, you're sinning against your own body, okay? So always keep that in mind. That, you know, after you sleep with somebody, you start to feel yourself start to drift away from God. Okay, those demons that are, that are in him is going to now be in you too. This is deep, bro. This is a spiritual warfare, okay? Always make sure before you get, you rush into a relationship or to sleep with a man, you got to make sure you align yourself spiritually and make sure that man is following the most high. Because anyone, this is for a man or a woman, anyone who's not following God, okay, not following the truth, that means they're following lies. That means they're following the devil, Okay. Always keep that in mind. If you want a, a, a relationship, a marriage that's a strong foundation, you got to make sure that man or that woman is following Christ, is following, you know, the most high. Okay. All right. So always keep that in mind, guys. You're going to have, you know, you after you sleep, if you're sleeping with a align your soul, it's called soul ties. You're aligning your soul with all these men. Okay. You're going to have those demons and you have many demons in you. Okay. And just like that man had those demons in it, now it's just jumping to you because women are the receivers of energy. All right. Number five is... He tempts you like how Satan tempted Eve. Yes, okay? We all know what happened in the garden. We all know what happened with Eve and how the devil came and tempted Eve, okay? So if a man is tempting you, okay? So let's say if you've been convicted of a sin, you convicted of addiction or whatever the case may be, and that man is, and you, and you told that man like, hey, like, you know, I'm not trying to do that. Like I overcame maybe alcoholism or I overcame whatever, right? And, you know, he, he, telling him, like, your testimony, you're sharing, like, you know, how you used to do that. You ain't doing that anymore. Maybe you've been, like, sober for, like, three months or a year, whatever, right? And you find yourself and you find that man trying to get you to go back into that. That's the, that's sent for, that guy is sent from the devil, 100% sent from the devil, okay? Because a man that sees you overcame that, he should be like, wow, like, he should be, like, you know, cheering you on. Like, that's what's up. Or maybe he might be struggling with it. He should be motivated. Like, if she could overcome it, I could do it, too, because two is better than one, Okay. But if that, that man is making you go back, he was sent from the devil, man. He was sent from the devil 100%. Okay, remember, like I told you guys, spiritual warfare, spiritual warfare. The devil doesn't want to see you win. He doesn't want to see you winning spiritually. He doesn't want to see you happy. He doesn't want to see you overcoming the sin. That bothers him, okay? that bo those, those demons get bothered by that. So he's going to send someone in Satan's kingdom, okay, the kingdom of darkness to come your way to steal, kill, and destroy. Okay, it's all part of the matrix. All right, number six is, oh, this is deep too. They pretend to be religious, okay? Or a Christian or whatever, right? Or follow God, but they secretly, they're secretly they secretly in darkness, okay? We all know what the scripture says in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 13 to 15. It says, um, uh, even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So one thing about these devils, man, one thing about these devils, oh, my marker ran out. What is this a new marker? What the heck, man? This is a new bar card I just got, whatever. One thing about these devils, they're going to disguise themselves as an angel of light. So they're going to disguise themselves as a Christian or a, 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 a Bible believer or, you know, a religious, right? And this is why the Bible says over and over again to test people's spirits because many false prophets, many deceivers have entered into the world, okay? So always keep that in mind. Just because a, a man says he's a Christian and he's religious and he goes to church, it doesn't mean anything, okay? Not to say that, you, you know, that's not good for a man to do that. I'm not saying that, but... Just because someone says that, it doesn't mean that they're automatically husband material, you know? So that's why, like I said, over and over again, test people's spirits 
And you know, you gotta have discernment. And people ask me this all the time, you know, you know, Mark, how can I better my discernment? Truth be told, you have to leave this world and follow God wholeheartedly because discernment is a gift of the Holy Spirit. So you wanna grow spiritually, grow in the Holy Spirit. And as you, you know, you're walking God, you're walking in Christ, you're gonna notice that the spiritual gifts that God has blessed you with, your wisdom, your knowledge, your discernment, your faith, all that is gonna increase, okay? The Bible says that he must increase and I must decrease. So you must decrease from the vanity, decrease from your love of the world, and the things that don't profit anything and increase Christ in you. That's how you gain a better discernment, okay? And your obedience, 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 because God blesses you for your obedience and he also curses you for your disobedience. Deuteronomy chapter 28, okay? Number seven is Satan will send a counterfeit before God blesses you. Yes, Satan will send a counterfeit before God blesses you. This has happened um, as times in the Bible and also happened into my life, okay? So before you get married, before God has a husband that's coming your way, the devil doesn't want you to receive your blessing. So what he's going to do, he's going to send an agent. And people ask me, tell me this all the time, Mark, what is an agent? It means someone who's working for the devil. Now, some of these people who are working for the devil, they don't know. They're just in bondage to Satan's kingdom. So they don't they don't know Satan's using their vessel. They don't, they don't know that. So this is why, even if they don't know, they're still going to be held accountable. Don't get it wrong. But always keep that in mind. Before God has a blessing for you, there's always going to be like a roadblock. Before you're about to get to the next level in life, there's always going to be a devil, a demon, to try to take you out, to try to make you st to steal your blessings from you. It even happened with, with Christ. Okay, Judas the devil, he tried to stop Christ from his mission. Okay, he tried to stop him from his purpose. The same thing the devil is trying to do to you. Okay, before you, God is going to give you, bless you with something, the devil is going to try to come to take that away from you. Remember, the stealer, the steal, kill, and destroy. Okay. So Satan will send a counterfeit before God blesses you. So this is why you got to keep on, I'm telling you guys, testing people's spirits. In these last days, there's it's, it's many devils out here, man. There's many devils walking the streets and in, in spiritual warfare. Have the armor of God on so you can see it for yourself, okay? These are the seven signs a man was, uh, was sent by the devil, okay? Number one is unhealthy obsession. He shows a force of friendship, relationship, or marriage on you. Number two is he will lure you in by your materialism. Number three is has no desires to get married or have babies. Uh, to, uh, he's a warmonger, okay? Now, if a man doesn't want to have babies but wants to get married, then that's fine. Uh, number four is after you sleep with them, you'll notice feelings of demonic energy, okay? Demonic presence, and you'll start to feel yourself drifting away from God, and you find yourself, when you start to drift away from God, it pretty much means you start to get closer to sin. Okay, when you're getting closer to sin, you're drifting away from God, right? Now, obviously, I got to say this, you know, we're always going to be sinning, you know, messing up, making mistakes, falling short of God's glory, but we don't we don't want to be willing, willingly given over to that. All right, number five is he tempts you like how Satan tempted Eve, yep. Number six is they pretend to be religious or a Christian or follow God, but sincerely, they're in darkness, okay? Number seven is Satan will send a counterfeit before God blesses you. If you guys made it this far, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm also, I've been seeing the comments too. You guys want me to make a video on a signs that they were sent from God. So I'm going to make that either this week or next week. I hope you guys got edified from this video. Love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.